Officials at NASA are getting ready to show off a rocket that's being built that'll take astronauts to the moon and beyond. That's right, it's being built at the Mishu Assembly Facility in New Orleans East. And Megan Key is at the facility this morning with more on what we can expect from what's being called Artemis Day. Megan? Hey, good morning. It's 801, which means it's officially Artemis Day. People from all across the country are here in New Orleans East at NASA's Rocket Factory for the unveiling of the SLS rocket and the Artemis Lunar Exploration Program. That's the rocket and the mission that will get us to Mars and the moon. Now, the Rocket Factory is also known as the Mishu Assembly Facility, and this is where workers have built the core stage of the NASA Space Launch System, short for the SLS rocket. It's being called the most powerful rocket in the world. The rocket has been here at the Mishu facility since 2014, and engineers tell us they're getting closer to finishing their portion and then shipping it to the NASA Stennis Space Center in Mississippi for the next phase. NASA officials explained what it took from the rocket factory to build such a large portion of this rocket. There's been an amazing factory transformation from the end of the shuttle program and its state-of-the-art manufacturer for the time to the new state-of-the-art and the new technology that had been part of the Space Launch System Artemis Core Stage manufacturing that goes on today. Uh, Multi-million dollars of modifications. The Michoud campus has a major factory building over 40 acres under one roof. Well, there's several phases to the Artemis program scheduled for 2020, which is pretty soon, is the first test flight with no crew. And then in 2024, NASA hopes to put the first woman and the next man on the moon. So definitely exciting and something we're looking forward to. Reporting live in New Orleans East, Megan Key, Eyewitness News. Very exciting. Thank you very much, Megan. NASA calls the space exploration program Artemis for a good reason. NASA's first Apollo missions to the moon influenced the creation of this program's name. The 1960s Apollo missions were named after the Greek god of uh, mythology, Apollo. Artemis was Apollo's twin sister and the goddess of the moon in Greek mythology. And we'll be following the Artemis Day developments all day, all morning on our website and online. You can look for extensive coverage on our new app and of course our social media pages.